please stand for the invocation, which will be delivered by Reverend Douglas Hippolyte of the Society of Jesus, rector of the Jesuit community, and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by the Jesuit High School Band under the direction of Ms. Nina Wegman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, your spirit of wisdom fills the earth and teaches us your ways. We ask you to fill the class of 2014 with your wisdom and blessings. They have worked and learned together. They have striven for the best they could be. They have labored for knowledge. They have opened their minds to new ideas and took delight in new discoveries. They have done all what was, what was required of them and they have succeeded. We realize that this evening is not an ending, but a transition from one phase of their lives to another. It is the breaking of the shell, the step that leads to new and different pathways. There is love and fondness for what they have done, and there is anticipation and joy for what is yet to come. O oh, good and gracious Father, we pray that this evening will be the start of lies that are productive and satisfying. We pray that they may always use the knowledge they have gleaned at Jesuit for the betterment of their lives and for those of their fellow human beings. We pray that the days they have spent at Jesuit may be the prologue for happy and fulfilling days yet to come. And finally, we pray that our graduates may know lives that are filled with challenges which allow them to grow, knowledge which allows them to succeed, and the peace which makes everything worthwhile. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening, and welcome to the commencement exercises of Jesuit High School in its 115th year. Seated on stage tonight is Reverend Richard C. Hermes of the Society of Jesus, president of Jesuit High School. This is Deborah Pacheco, academic assistant principal of Jesuit High School, and Reverend Douglas J. Hippolyte, the Society of Jesus, rector of Jesuit community. We request that no one leave his or her seat during the ceremony. A professional photographer will take a picture of each graduate as he receives his diploma, and a videographer is recording the ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the class of 2014 salutatorian, Douglas M. Henry. Father Hermes, Mr. Newberger, members of the Jesuit High School administration, faculty, and staff, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, 
It seems strange that the entirety of our four-year experience at Jesuit can be concluded in a few short hours, that all the nuances and idiosyncrasies of our collective high school existence can be summarized in one day of commencement exercises. Yet this is how it ought to be. The conclusion of a journey should not be drawn out or celebrated. Rather, it is the memory of the journey as a whole that should take precedence in our minds. When we exclusively emphasize or underscore an ending, we may all too easily forget the nature of its inception. To my fellow graduates, I stand here to tell you that tonight, the completion of these past four years is a shared foundation of pride. It is an achievement. It is an accomplishment. It is a feat. Even while being tried and tested by the rigors of a Jesuit education, we have excelled. Our class has given rise to several National Merit Scholar semifinalists, numerous state champions, countless musical and artistic virtuosos, and multiple students who have loaned their talents, resulting in thousands of hours of recorded, thousands of hours of community service given, all while being really, really ridiculously good looking. <laughs> the significance of these exploits cannot be understated. That we were able to accomplish such profound undertakings while bound by and held up to the elevated requirements and expectations of a Jesuit education is nothing shy of extraordinary. Brothers, it has been an honor to experience these past four years with you. To the faculty, staff, and administrators of Jesuit High School, I am here to thank you. Without your continued instruction, we would not be able to come before you tonight. It is because of your devotion to our betterment as students, athletes, artists, and leaders that we have grown as men throughout our time here. Your drive to improve us has driven us to improvement. Your desire to advance us has made us desire advancement. And your push to enlighten us has pushed us to enlightenment. Know that we will not let you down. You have cultivated our talents, and the fruits of your labor will abound in the years to come. To our family and loved ones, I know that we are forever grateful for your endless support these past four years. We will continue to hold your fervent encouragement in our minds as we progress through college and beyond. Had it not been for your constant love and aid during our years at Jesuit, it would have been all too easy to waver in our duties as students. Yet, thanks to you, we were able to respond accordingly to the stresses of a demanding education, an education you so generously offered to us. We owe much of our success to our friends and family, and this is a fact, a fact that will not ever be forgotten. Jesuit High School has been the perfect environment for us to excel as students and men because of our own initiative, an initiative bolstered by the commitments made by our instructors and loved ones. It has been an honor to speak to you tonight, and I look forward to witnessing all of our combined triumphs in the future. Thank you. One hundred and thirty nine colleges and universities have accepted 169 members of the class of 2014. 141 of these students have received academic or athletic scholarships, including 112 Bright, Florida Bright Future scholarships. The total value of scholarships exceeds $12.4 million. The following seniors were recognized for their special achievements in academics, the arts, athletics, service, citizenship, and personal growth at our awards assembly on May 1. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. The Culture of Life Award for Exemplary Leadership in the Jesuit Pro-Life Club was presented to Philip McElroy. The Latin Award for Excellence in Scholarship and for Leadership in the Latin Club for four years was merited by Chase Nysonger. The Science Award for Superior Achievement recognizing analytical ability and imaginative capacity was earned by Rhett Schimberg. The Ann Connors Award for recognizing a deep appreciation for social studies, course offerings, and interest outside of the classroom was awarded to Francis Simica. The Reverend Richard G. Harnett Award for Excellence in English, recognizing sophistication of thought, critical judgment, eloquence in expression, openness to growth, intellectual humility and integrity was presented to Julian Velez. 
the St. Ignatius Gold Medal Essay Contest Award, SIGMAC, for the written expression of critical thought and personal reflection was earned by Douglas Henry. The Visual Arts Awards for originality, insightfulness, and aesthetics was merited by Adam Corson. The Director's Award, recognizing the student that shows a strong sense of responsibility for the ensemble's well-being, was merited by Maxim Yogis. The National School Orchestra Award, recognizing excellence in playing and contributions to the ensemble, was presented to Austin Booth. The National School Choral Award for chorus, recognizing talent and enthusiasm for several chorus members, was merited by Sebastian Botero. The O'Connell Award, given to the two-sport letterman who exemplifies outstanding achievement in academics and athletics, was earned by Austin Curtis. The St. Peter Claver Senior Service Award for the senior who completed the most hours of community service was awarded to Russell Kane. The National Merit Finalist Award was awarded to Douglas Henry, Peter Johnson, Rhett Schimberg, Jacob Vila, and Daniel Wilson. The Faculty Memorial Growth Award, recognizing the senior, demonstrating the most growth intellectually, personally, and spiritually, and who exhibits potential for continued development in college and beyond, was merited by Nicholas Ketcher. Let's congratulate these young men. At this point in our program, we recognize outstanding students that have merited special awards. The recipients of most of these awards was determined by a vote of the faculty. The Joseph P. Gavin Award is established in memory of Brother Gavin, who for many years supervised the work of students on financial aid. His caring presence among the students touched the lives of many of our alumni. The Gavin Award is presented to the student who has been outstanding in generosity and dependability in service to the school community. The award this year is merited by Nicholas Lavoie. The Pedro Arupe Award presented in honor of a former Superior General of the Society of Jesus, is given to the student who excels as a man for others through a distinguished achievement in community service. This year, the Arupe Award is merited by Zachariah Aldridge. The Larry and J. Elliott Award for Spiritual Leadership is given in honor of the late Father Elliott, who served for 10 years as president of Jesuit High School. In addition to his efforts to promote the financial development of the school and to provide funds for students for financial aid for those in need, Father Elliott gave of himself zealously to his ministry in local parish churches and civic organizations. The Elliott Award recognizes the student who manifests dedication and commitment to Christ and the church through the example of his Christian life. This year, the award is merited by Justin Kelly. The Charles J. Lashley Memorial Award is given in memory of Father Lashley, who served as a prefect of discipline for 18 years. Father Lashley's firm and fair approach won him respect and admiration of his students. His personal care and interest had a tremendous influence on an entire generation of Jesuit alumni. 
the graduate who best exemplifies outstanding characteristics of leadership for the student body receives the Latchley Award, the highest honor Jesuit High School confers upon a graduating senior. The award this year is merited by Rhett Waldron. It is now my pleasure to introduce the class of 2014 valedictorian, Daniel G. Wilson. Father Hermes, Mr. Newberger, and members of the Jesuit High School administration, faculty, staff, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, I am deeply honored to have the opportunity and privilege to speak to you today. Just four short years ago, my fellow graduates and I set foot on campus for the first time. And yesterday, in a moment of bittersweet farewell, we stood together on campus for our last time as students. Today, we graduate. We graduate during this commencement ceremony which marks both the end of a defining period in our lives as children and the beginning of our lives as men. Tonight, though we leave behind an institution so dear to us, we do not grieve. Instead, we celebrate, for the bonds and memories of our time together do not fade, and the formative impression left upon us is unchanging. I could go back and reminisce about the past four years, however, I think it more valuable to look towards the future. We are the denizens of a rapidly changing world, a place where a college education is no longer a guarantee of employment, where innovation and creativity are often as essential as tenacity and hard work. I think for all of us, the vastness of possibility is frightening. The future is a blind corner beyond which lies uncertainty. But uncertainty is another word for opportunity. We must push forward and walk untrodden paths, find courage and faith within ourselves that we will succeed and blaze a trail future generations will be proud to follow. Graduates, if at any point you feel as if you will fall, if life moves too quickly and you fear being left behind, do not panic, do not yield. With the abilities we have fostered over the past four years, we need not be afraid. Jesuit has bestowed upon us the knowledge, the friendships, and the fiery determination to succeed in any endeavor. Under the weight of adversity, we may bend, but we will never break. Excellence is never an accident. It is the result of hard work, our hard work. In the past four years, we have faced weighty academic challenges, athletic competition, artistic and musical complexity and we have more than our fair share of champions. But even though looking to the future can be invaluable, sometimes I think we humans become a bit preoccupied with it. We stare so intently at what will be, we become blind to what is. A wise man once said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you could miss it. Here, I agree with Ferris Bueller. That is what today is for. Today, we give ourselves a break from worrying about the future. Today, we celebrate all that we have achieved and the people we have become. On behalf of the class of 2014, I'd like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to Jesuits faculty, staff, and administrators for everything they have done for us. You are the reason we have made it this far, the reason we are who we are today. To our friends, to our family, and to our loved ones. You have supported us through countless trials and we are forever in your debt. Brothers, in only a few moments, you will never again be high school students. You will find yourselves alumni, graduates. As you go through life, do what you love and never forget to stop and look around the corner every once in a while. 
while we will face many opportunities in both the near and distant future, we are prepared, well prepared. We hold our destinies in the palms of our hands. Congratulations and happy graduation. Reverend Father President, I have the honor of presenting to you a total of 169 candidates for the Jesuit High School Diploma. They have been duly examined by the faculty and approved by the administration of Jesuit High School. I ask that you confer their diplomas with the various distinctions they have merited. By virtue of my authority as president of Jesuit High School, with the approval of the Jesuit Secondary Education Association, the National Catholic Educational Association, and the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, I hereby confer on those whose names are listed in the official records full recognition as graduates of Jesuit High School worthy of its diploma. We now proceed to the most important part of the commencement exercises, the awarding of the diplomas, so that all names can be heard and the distinctions that each graduate has merited. I ask that you hold all applause until all names have been called. I remind you of our request not to leave your seat during the presentation of diplomas. The graduates will please come forward row by row. Stephen Matthew Adamshack. Akeen Tunde Adajimobi. Zachariah Taylor Aldridge. Vincent Sergey Alexander. Albert Joseph Alfonso. Carlos Samuel Alfonso. Daniel Carlos Alvarez, summa cum laude. Nicholas James Alvarez. Troy Christopher Andrew. Gino Gustavo Aquino, cum laude. Rustam Rustam Azar III. Anthony Vincent Bellini. Jeremiah Vincent Benjamin, summa cum laude. Christian Ramon Benson, magna cum laude. Vincent Edward Burning House. Ryan Francis Bianco, cum laude. Ryan Christopher Black. Colbert Trussell Blanchard, cum laude. Nicholas Joseph Bagna, summa cum laude. George Louis Baghdadi, summa cum laude. Austin Robert Booth, summa cum laude. Sebastian Alexander Botero, summa cum laude. Matthew Brendan Bowen, cum laude.
Kerry Randolph Brown Jr., cum laude. Russell Robert Kane, summa cum laude. Jacob Gable Carter, cum laude. Kevin Mitchell Cavallo, magna cum laude. Tanner Nelson Castellano, magna cum laude. Andrew Castro, magna cum laude. Nicholas James Ketcher, magna cum laude. Stefan Gabriel Savalas, magna cum laude. Sean Shokat Chowdhury, summa cum laude. Michael Anthony Conlon. Gabriel Alexander Contreras Escalana, magna cum laude. Adam Nicholas Corson, magna cum laude. Gregory Bruce Cox. Austin Scott Curtis, summa cum laude. Min Kao Dang, summa cum laude. Marcus Julius Dangle, magna cum laude. Jason Oakley Decker. Chandler Paul Dillon. Travis Patrick Dinan, summa cum laude. Daniel Perrier Doan. Mark Louis Dumois, cum laude. Curtis Joseph Eggert. Peyton Douglas Elliott. Brent Michael Fenlon. Austin Henry Fernandez. Andreas Eduardo Figueroa Diaz, magnum cum laude. Edmund Joseph Foody III, magna cum laude. Derek Richard Franz, magna cum laude. Thomas Charles Free, cum laude. Alexander Robert Garcia, cum laude. Mike John Gargula, magna cum laude. Grant Alexander Garmendia. Luis Antonio Gonzalez. Lorenzo Vincent Gonzalez. Anthony Michael Guayardo, magna cum laude. Ian Joseph Gutierrez, summa cum laude. Christian Lawrence Heights, magna cum laude. Thomas Stewart Hamilton, summa cum laude. Douglas Michael Henry, summa cum laude. Tyler Dean Hernandez, summa cum laude.
Raymond Griner Hobbs. Zachary Scott Harding Hooper, cum laude. Mark Thomas Urato, cum laude. Robert Michael Jap. <laughs> Matthew Reed Jackson, magna cum laude. Patrick Nathaniel Jackson. Don't say the second, just say junior. Just junior. All right. Vincent McDarren Jackson, Jr. <laughs> Brandon David Johnson. Peter Harrison Johnson, summa cum laude. <clears throat> Jalen Kennedy Johnson Osborne. Justin Kimbrough Kelly, cum laude. John Patrick Kelly, magna cum laude. John Wesley Kircher V. <laughs> Peyton Ronald Kling. Scott Alexander Kolop. <laughs> Dalton Matthew Lambert. Daniel Raymond Lastra. <laughs> Nicholas David Lavoy, magna cum laude. Ryan Alexander Lurch, magna cum laude. Jared Scott Leto. Nicholas Patrick Lagori. Maxwell Eric Linares, summa cum laude. John Colin Lloyd, magna cum laude. Zachary Taylor Long, magna cum laude. Peter Evilio Lopez III, cum laude. Dennis Emmanuel Lopez, cum laude. Ryan Douglas Lohman, summa cum laude. David Francis Lozo. Brandon Michael Luckwalt, magna cum laude. Timothy Matthew Madigan, summa cum laude. Kevin Patrick Mahoney, cum laude. Nicholas Andrew Mahoney. Ari Shayton Marsh. Austin Robert McCullers. Ryan Curtis McCullers. Philip Albert McElroy, summa cum laude. Sebastian Myler. Noah Dominic Menendez, magna cum laude. 
Matthew James Mirabella. Yeah! Brian Richard Mondor. Yeah! John Patrick Mooney, summa cum laude. Yeah! Eric Tani Mubang, summa cum laude. Stephen Sebastian Musameshi. Scotty Navarro. Garrett Paul Newberger. Chase Andrew Nysonger, summa cum laude. Timothy James O'Loughlin, summa cum laude. Alec Christian Orozco, cum laude. Ryan Christopher Orta. Antonio Papacota. Shane Keen Paul. Drew Thomas Paulson. Donovan James Pedrero, magna cum laude. James Dennis Peak, cum laude. Anthony Archer Palingra, summa cum laude. Hunter Matthew Penn. John Charles Perez II. Tyler Jack Perez. Damon James Piacitelli. Pierce Evan Popovich. Patrick Robert Power, summa cum laude. Alexander Taylor Prada. John Leo Pulse III. Casey Chandler Ratke. Pritham Madade Reedy. Ready. Austin Andrew Rhodes, cum laude. <laughs> Nicholas Alexander Rivera. <laughs> Philip Charles Robbins. Ryan Zachary Romo, cum laude. Ryan Austin Roy. Robert Nicholas Rudnecki, magna cum laude. Kyle Wolf Salston, summa cum laude. Trevor Christian Sayers, magna cum laude. Daniel Lawrence Scapinato, magna cum laude. Trevor James Shetley, summa cum laude. Donald Lucas Schmeling, summa cum laude. Francis Jeffrey Simica, summa cum laude. Colin Campbell Scott, cum laude. James Albert Serrano, Jr., summa cum laude. 
Rhett James Schimberg, summa cum laude. Nicholas Steve Stravakis. <laughs> William Eaton Stolzing. <laughs> Michael Francisco Suarez, summa cum laude. June Sung Sa, summa cum laude. Jack Ryan Taylor. Vincent Testaverde, Jr. Evan Alexander Thompson, cum laude. Charles Arthur Tolan. Joseph Edward Trim, summa cum laude. Austin Martin Underwood. Alexander Oman Uch. Julian Calixo Velez, summa cum laude. Jacob Michael Vila, summa cum laude. Tomas Elliot Vivero. Rhett Lawrence Waldron, cum laude. Cody Tarver Warren, magna cum laude. Corey Hal Weintraub, cum laude. Andrew Scott Werner, magna cum laude. Ethan Moss White, summa cum laude. Christian Michael Williams. Clarence Daniel Williams. Daniel Gregory Wilson, summa cum laude. Todd Standish Wilson, Jr., magna cum laude. Maxim Mead Yogis. Nicholas Matthew Zorowski, magna cum laude. Anthony Joseph Zuko, magna cum laude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Jesuit High School class of 2014. The President's address will now be delivered by Father Richard Hermes. Dear Class of 2014, your alma mater is 115 years old. By the standards of American high schools, fairly old indeed. 
but viewed from a longer historical perspective of Jesuit education, not so ancient. In fact, pretty modern, only about five human generations. Father Brew recently reminded me that his grandfather was born in 1899, the same year that the Jesuit fathers began to educate the young men of Tampa down on Florida Avenue. The modern period in which Jesuit high school was founded, developed, and has grown to maturity has been an era in which the individual self has been much glorified. Self-esteem, self-discovery, self-actualization, self-determination, and self-love. These are almost mantra-like watchwords of 20th century psychology and modern education. But those older Jesuit educators might have spoken of confidence, courage, eloquence, intelligence, holy ambition, faith, and interior depth to indicate the qualities most needed for a young man to thrive in the world. In fact, doesn't the modern preoccupation with self fly in the very, face, the very ethos, in the face of the very ethos of Jesuit education? You've learned again and again at Jesuit by word and example about the importance of living not for self, but for others. The ideal of becoming a man for others, which is nothing less than the imitation of Christ, could be called the heart of Jesuit education. In imitating Christ and living for others, you truly live AMDG for the greater glory of God. That great Catholic man of letters, G.K. Chesterton, who lived in the early 20th century, once wrote with his typical combination of levity and seriousness. He said, do not enjoy yourself. Enjoy dances and theaters and joy rides and champagne and oysters. Enjoy jazz and cocktails and nightclubs if you can enjoy nothing better. Enjoy bigamy and burglary and any crime in the calendar in preference to the other alternative. But never learn to enjoy yourself. While he was not Jesuit educated and certainly never heard of the phrase man for others, Chesterton knew that the modern turn to the self the relentless focus on self-needs was the surest path to personal disaster. A life curled in on itself is a life that freely chooses the prison of isolation and one that is necessarily cut off from God. Freedom and brotherhood go together. The brotherhood that you have experienced the past four years in convocation, on club days, at intramurals, on fun day, in the cafeteria, on the stage, studying together, serving others together, praying together, traveling with one another, competing together, even LARPing together. That brotherhood that is so uniquely Tampa Jesuit has taught you the importance of others, the needs of others, your need for others, and the many ways in which you are a better man as a man for others. In fact, all that you've done to form the very real and impressive brotherhood of the class of 2014 has led you further along the path of freedom. Today, you are more free to form friendships beyond Jesuit than you were four years ago. You are more free today to be a leader in the service of others than you were as a freshman. You are more free today to excel and to seek the majus in all you do precisely because of the experiences you have gone through together these past four years. Genuine brotherhood begets freedom. In part, because of the bonds of brotherhood you have formed, you have become sons of Jesuit. You are now free, without reservation, to call Jesuit your alma mater. So I ask you to please stand and sing together one last time the Jesuit High School alma mater. Three.